Hi everybody, this is Connie. For those of you who did follow through with the whole 28 day detox slash elimination diet plan challenge, congratulations. But I saw the motivation and the inspiration dwindle through the process. So I'm not sure how many of you have gone through it. Many of you have voiced the concern with the overwhelming feeling, too much to take in, and all those things. I want you to know those are all normal. So we have everything you need on the left side of your Facebook feed. If you look under files, those are all the files that I've shared with you. And then all the videos day by day is there for your resource. So always revert back to that if you need a refresher. But I'll always be conducting somewhat of an in uh, inspirational and instructional videos like this to kind of spark a little challenge for you. So um, today I want to give you a template that I created for my patients here that do go through the full 28 day detox um, complete with the supplements and I've created this template to allow them to introduce the food groups by food groups. So it's a very strategic way for you to kind of log your symptoms as you start to kind of play with what foods work and what foods you can't tolerate and why, what are so those symptoms. So it just brings back the awareness into your body to kind of acknowledge what foods have some type of triggering or symptomatic effects in your body because most of us before this you don't even know what you had, right? That's called the IgG response. It's a slow, delayed sensitivity. It's not a straight up allergic reaction so much as it is a cumulative sensitivity that we develop over time. So I hope that that's helpful. But despite, you know, whether you follow through with the detox or not, there are three things that I want you to try. One is every morning when you get up, I want you to squeeze a half of lemon into a, a cup of uh, into a cup and add about 12 ounces of water and I want you to start the day with that um, and then shortly after that I want you to engage in what I call oil pulling and it's going to further um, enhance your ability to detox. You can google all about this on oil pulling it's a little aurivic very very much old little um, little secret of a detox methodology that I've been using and prescribing for my patients. It's been really, really drastically um, effective in terms of uh, the sensitivity in your mouth and getting the bacteria out of your system. So if you understand the uh, biomechanical or biochemical effects of that, you'll know how effective it is. So what you do is get two tablespoons of uh, I prefer coconut oil, organic coconut oil, and then, um, I'm sorry, not two tablespoons, just one full tablespoon. And then put it in your mouth first thing in the morning after that lemon water, and just swish in your mouth like you would gargle like a, a mouthwash. And then do that for about 20 minutes. Or if you can't handle 20 minutes, five minutes is fine, but optimally up to 20 minutes. The way I do it, I do it swishing around, kind of getting my day, getting ready for the day, packing my um, kids lunch and I juice every morning. So while I do that, I time myself on my iPhone and then when the timer goes off, you have to be very careful at disposing of it because all toxins are lipophilic, meaning it, uh, it's attracted by the fat molecules, which is what you're swishing in your mouth. And this is the beginning of your digestive tract, so it attracts a lot of toxins up into it. And that's why the prolonged amount of gargling is effective. It's very toxic. So there's been research to state that whatever is in your mouth after 20 minutes, it's enough to cause cancer in a rat. So not a good thing to dispose of, especially if you've got babies or kids or even pets around. So don't flush it down the toilet either because that goes into our water supply, not a good ecological option. So what I do is I put it in a paper towel so then it's absorbed and I put it in like a little plastic bag or any type of a paper bag and then I dispose of it that way. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt but I've learned over the time that if you do it every day, the amount of footprint that you leave, you have to be somewhat responsible. That's the way I choose to do it. Lastly, I want you to um, do what's called a half bath. It's a little Asian um, remedy for pain. It's uh, filling your bathtub with um, 
the hottest possible temperature water and um, enough to like almost like really be too hot for a bath and then add about I, I do two full cups of Epsom salts and I sit in that bath and the water should be no higher than your belly button you're gonna sit in there for about five minutes and you're gonna feel the sweats forming on your forehead and all over your body. What's happening is your heart is outside of the water, right? And then down below is, you know, scorching hot water. And so all the vascularization is being effectively um, kind of triggered, right? And so when that happens and then the sweat bubbles that's forming all over the upper body is all toxins that's able to come out. Because as far as osmosis is concerned, you've got magnesium sulfate salts as Epsom salts in the bath water. And so that does something to met metabolically to enhance that detoxifying properties. Not only that, for us lupus patients, that's a good pain modulator. So you're gonna notice that for those of you who have paresthesia, like numbness and tingling. If you do this, I promise this is going to be like a game changer for you. So I hope that that helps and I hope that you try that. And until next time, I'll see you later.